Hello fish friends! It's been a year and a half since I set up this 60 gallon Ambuna tank so it is definitely time for an update. We've had some changes and we're doing some changes today. Yeah I just did a water change so this is really loud. Sorry it's getting filled up now and so yeah maybe it's not the best time to film but oh well. I just decided to get the camera out and film as I did this because I'm going to be adding some fish in here and so I wanted to just get that on film and show you guys, you know. Let me just tell you about these guys. Okay, so if you've been to my channel before and been following this, then you know that I started out with four, no, five pearl mutts, okay, two males and three females. And now I only have two that I originally started with. I have Gandalf and Crystal still. Um, Opal and Pearl both died, sadly enough, due to aggression problems. And you can watch my video about that here. And then Albus I rehomed because I thought that would be a good idea and help a little with the aggression problems. Like now I don't think that actually did help. Like I think it's totally fine. In fact, it's sometimes beneficial to have two males. So that they can focus on each other a little more and not on the females because it has been all females that have died due to aggression. There, there are three of them. Okay, so I kept back two of Crystal and Gandalf's babies and I was hoping both of them were girls but one's a boy and one's a girl. So there's Crystal right there and then that's her son. I just call him Junior. And then there's one other in here. Where is she? Anyway, they're scared of the camera. They're, they've gotten very skittish as they've, go, as they've gotten older. Like before, oh, that's that's Tiger Lily. She's holding, um, her name's Tiger Lily. She's kind of got a little, little tiger stripes going on. So I've got four now. Gandalf and Crystal, who are my originals, and then Tiger Lily and Junior, who are their offspring. We're going to be bringing more of their offspring in here. Um, just because I think I really need to overstock this tank a little better to help keep my aggression down. And then my Solosi, I ordered seven. They all arrived safely. Um, anyway, I'm down to five because one of my females was just recently killed by one of my males and then I rehomed the male that killed her. Yeah, all these Solosi that I have in here are my originals, but like I said, one died and I rehomed one, so I'm down to five. Three males and two females. So I am in the process of getting more Solose from a breeder in Virginia. And the reason why I'm not just keeping their offspring is because I actually do breed these guys. And I sell them on Vivi and also to my local fish store. And so I want to make sure that they have plenty of genetic diversity. So I'm going to bring those other fish in and get some nice... I mean, they're nice and healthy, but just, you know, outcross the, the line to make sure they stay healthy and well, and, and they're bred well. Oh, there's... Did you guys see her? There she is. And that is my Chela White Belly. Okay, she's the only one in the tank right now. I ordered a colony of four Chela White Bellies. Eight months ago, when I blacked out the tank, there she goes, she's hiding, I'm getting too close, these guys are like, so scared of my camera, so scared of my camera. So anyway, I ordered four, one of them died the next day, and then the three that I had in here, this this one that's in here was growing pretty well, the other two were not, they were just staying super, super small. Um, I've had them for eight months and they're still not three inches yet, they're probably two to two and a half. So I put them in the 20 gallon tank and I will show them to you in a little bit. But my male is starting to color up and I will definitely show him to you in a little bit. And so yeah, we're going to bring some helmets, some Chela White Bellies in here, and then also my other Slosai who is in the other holding tank because she did get attacked but she's healing up well and so we're going to stick her back in here too with the other new fish. Um, and then I got... This pearl, female pearl zebra, her name is Daisy. All my female zebras start with D, their names start with D. So we got Daisy. Oh, sorry about the focus. Daisy. There's Big Red. And Dot was peeking her head over here. Where'd you go, Dot? There she is. Dot! Hi! Come out! 
There's that. And <laughs> there's a rusty slipper too. And there's Derp. I think that's a Derp spin back there. But anyway, Derp is named Derp because she's got a derpy jaw. Like it's kind of deformed. So the only ones that I breed are um, Big Red and Dot. Because Derp has a deformed jaw and then, of course, Daisy is, is a, an opal. Is it opal? No, a pearl. A pearl zebra. So we don't want to mix. We want to intermix breeds here. Okay, oh, and there's Big Blue. He's my cobalt blue zebra. He's beautiful. I love him. Okay, and then the other ones that I have are my Rusties. I've got two Rusty Cichlids. I ordered five to begin with. Clear back then, a year and a half ago. One was dead on arrival. If you guys remember, Tiny Tim, he died. He had something wrong with him. And then there was one other that started developing the same issue that Tiny Tim had. So I just have these two females. I'm pretty sure they're females because they, you know, they haven't colored up or anything. They don't, they don't show any signs of being male. Oh, it looks like I have an empty tank. I have no fish. There are some fish. So I have two girls. Two girl resties. They're Terry and Teresa. They're the Terry and Teresa twins. <laughs> so that's that's my tank right now. Let's go look at the other tanks I have. Here is my 20 gallon long. This is my juvenile tank for my bigger juveniles that are about two inches. And it used to be my shrimp tank, but the shrimp have been moved up to my son's room, so he's got the shrimp now in his little three gallon. I just needed more tanks, you guys. I only had my 60 gallon and my two tens, and it was not big enough to grow anybody out. In fact, this still really isn't that much. Um, I really had this tank overstocked. I had about 40, at least 40. I probably had 50 two inch juvies in here, and I skipped a week of water change and. They they didn't die, but they, they were all at the bottom like breathing heavy and I did a, a water test and yeah, the nitrates and nitrates were up a bit, so um, I have to be careful and not overstock it too much, not put too many too many in here. So I'm going to try to get only pearl mutt females, so like I'm not going to get that guy because he is obviously a male. The problem is once I start trying to get him, oh, that glare is really bad. Once I start trying to get them, it's harder to tell because they color down. Okay, there's my Chelo White Belly. There he is. He's not like flashing right now, but when he starts showing off, you can really see the blue in his fins and he's really pretty awesome looking. Another reason why I'm getting fish out of this tank is this is going to be the tank that my new solo say are going to go in. And I want to keep only females, so my plan is to put them in here and then as the males color up, remove the males and put them in the 10 gallon and hopefully um, just be left with, with females. So hopefully that will work. I don't have, I've only got one Solosa in here right now and I need to take him out too because I don't want to mix him with, with the other ones. You guys are so pretty. So pretty. Here's my newborn baby fry tank. These guys, none of them are actual new. Well, there are actually only two in here that are newborns because Ginger spit, I think she only spit two out. She, she was hungry. She was eating while she was holding and so she swallowed most of her babies. But anyway, these guys are several weeks old. And then here is the other 10 gallon tank with the about one inch juveniles. And we've got Ginger in here because, like I said, did I say that? Did I say she got attacked? She got attacked by Neptune. The other one got killed. She got attacked. So I rehomed Neptune. And anyway, she's, she's doing fine now. So we're going to put her back in the big tank today along with the others. All right, we got the tank filled up and we got the new fish put in. So I ended up putting in four more pearl mutts. Only one of the two other Chelo white bellies because it was really difficult to catch the smaller one. And plus I decided she's just still too small. I wanted to have a chance to grow big and strong before I put in her in here. And then I also put Ginger back in here. So yeah, they're all doing pretty well. You can see Terry and Teresa now, the two Rusties. Everyone's out and swimming around. 
I'm going to try to get some closer shots. Alright, walking a little closer here. They're generally not scared of me, but they're scared of this camera. That's the problem. Okay, you can see here in the back where they totally picked off the paint. There he is. He's hiding back by these tubes. But yeah, you can see some nice, very nice blue in his fins. He is going to be so pretty. I have not been able to find much information on these guys. So hopefully they're not going to be too aggressive. They may be because they're strict herbivores. They've got that um, upper lip that hangs over that helps them scrape the plant matter off the rocks. If you guys remember when I spray painted these, it was supposed to be uh, fish proof, but no. They've eaten it off. Luckily it hasn't killed any of them. We hope. There's a rusty. Okay. There's big blue. There's big red. Chilo. He is definitely not very comfortable in a tank right now, but he's pretty small compared to others. He's used to being one of the tank bosses, so it's going to take him a little while to adjust, but he will be good. Daisy's going to chase him around a little. Alright, so I've got eight pearl nuts in here now, which obviously is too many for me, but I'm just going to see who, which one of them is a female. I would like to keep... I would like to have two males and four females. So that means I just need to keep two of the females. So hopefully at least two of them, them that I put in there are females. So I actually did name him. His name is Denali. He's pretty cool. The female actually looks really cool. There she is. The female looks really cool too. They look so different. She's like all spotted and she's like, oh, who is this, this cute guy over here? And Kia is the name of the other female that's in the other tank. And then Shasta is the spotted one. So they're all named after famous mountains. So as they've matured, they've gotten a lot more skittish. They'll all go hide in really quickly when someone comes into the room. And the tank is right in the middle of everyone. <laughs> and we homeschool. So everyone's home and running around the tank. But it's just, just the way they are, I guess. Oh, there's Denali. I realized that I forgot to tell you guys about my red zebras and kind of what's been happening with them from the time I got them to right now where it's one and a half years later. Well, I got a whole bunch of red zebras, several different varieties. I got two cherry red zebras. I got a bunch of just regular red zebras. I can't even remember how many. And then I got several OB red zebras as well. And the plan was to just see, you know, which ones were males and which ones were females and keep most of the females and keep only one or two males. So I ended up rehoming quite a few at about the eight month mark when I made my second order of fish. I rehomed Scarlet, who was my female cherry red zebra. Now my other cherry red zebra is actually big red and he's still in the tank. They both started out really dark red, like almost, well, really dark orange, almost a red color. But as they matured, it kind of faded and they just were about the same color as the regular red zebras. Um, another one that I still have is Derp, and I got Derp actually from either Petco or PetSmart, I can't remember which one. She, along with an OB Red Zebra, were the very first Bambuna that I bought because I purchased them while I was waiting for the other fish to come in the mail. I just got really impatient and I saw them and I was like, oh, more Red Zebras. <laughs> so I got them. The OB one died really quickly and Derp is still in here in the tank. Um, and then I have Dot, and she was one of the OB Red Zebras. Now, if I remember correctly, I ordered four 
OBs. One was dead on arrival. Um, I had Samson and Delilah. I rehomed Samson and Delilah was killed and then I still have Dot. So out of all those red zebras that I originally started with, I only have three red zebra zebras left here in the tank. It's Big Red, Dot, and Derp. And then I also got Big Blue and Daisy. And I ordered them at about eight months ago when I also ordered my Shayla White Bellies. 